Sports USA, where music comes to play. 1-800-592-3719 is our on-demand number. You can text us there, too, if that's more convenient for you. I remember when I got to uh, my new station in my hometown of Minneapolis back in 1980. It was 1500 KSTP. And this was a hit at that time. And I really fell in love with this song. Dan Fogelberg. Longer than there have been fishes in the ocean. I am in love. Over 111 and I have or click on keyword at the bottom of your screen and enter ABC. Ike and I do our show prep uh, the night before, about half of the show prep, and then uh, we get up bright and oily in the morning and and do the rest of our show prep. And all that means is show prep is a way of fishing for stories so we can chit chat and have a good time here on the extravaganza. And so, yeah, just like fishing, sometimes you sit around with your line in the water and wait a good long while before uh, you get a bite. Was that the way it was not last night? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of like crickets. <whistles> you know, nothing going on until late. We got about three stories, and this was one of them we got last night about whole solar systems getting evicted from the Milky Way galaxy. They've got a picture of this here, too, and it, and it shows uh, uh, an artist's rendering of... looks like about a dozen stars that are actually being spit out of the, the Milky Way. And yes, the technical term for it is galactic eviction. An international team of astronomers led by Max Planck Institute for Astronomy, MPIA, has made a surprising discovery about the birthplace of groups of stars located in the halo of our Milky Way galaxy. Now, these halo stars are grouped together in giant structures that orbit the center of our galaxy. Above and below the actual flat disk of the structure of the Milky Way. Researchers thought they may have formed from debris left behind by smaller galaxies that invaded the Milky Way in the past. However, in a study published today in Nature, the journal called Nature, Astronomers now have compelling evidence showing that some of these halo structures actually originate from the Milky Way's disk itself, but were kicked out. Judy Cohen, Cohen, I guess, C-O-H-E-N, and Kate Van, oh, she is uh, the uh, professor of astronomy at Caltech, and she has a specific pro- professorial assignment designation, the Kate Van Eyes Page Professor at Caltech. She says that this phenomenon is called galactic eviction. These structures are pushed off the plane of the Milky Way when massive dwarf galaxy passes through the galactic, the galactic disk. So, in other words, you can, you can imagine a flat surface or plane being the Milky Way galaxy, well, evidently, entire dwarf galaxies can, like, go perpendicular through the galaxy. And this passage causes oscillations or waves that, kind of like a boat that has a wake, except instead of, be, instead of it being water, it is um, the... Uh, gravity, the temporary gravitational pull that ejects native stars from the galactic disk, either above or below it, depending on the direction of the perturbing mass. For the first time, the team presented detailed chemical abundance patterns of these halo stars using the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. So, it's kind of interesting. The team also obtained a spectrum of one additional star taken 
with the European Southern Observatory's ver the VLT, the very large telescope down in Chile. When comparing the chemical compositions of the stars with the ones found in other cosmic structures, the scientists were surprised to find that the chemical compositions are almost identical, both within and between these groups, and closely match the abundance patterns of the Milky Way outer disk stars. And uh, the researchers here are really excited about this because it shows that the Milky Way's disk and its dynamics are significantly more complex than previous thought, which means kind of like kind of like uh, job preservation. <laughs> they got more complex things about the Milky Way galaxy to take a good strong look at here, ladies and gentlemen. Dick Live personality, internet radio, and complete music variety. Total Hits USA! And that's what we strive to do, is have a nice, galactically cool show here for you on the Tuesday Extravaganza. All right, it's family music time. The DeFranco family now with a little cardio report. Okay, a little Maroon 5 for you. This love. Got something you want to hear? Give us a call, 800 592 3719. It's kind of like crying wolf there. Total Hits USA Maroon 5. This love. Total Hits USA. Oh, I was on the phone with Roger down in Norfolk, Virginia. He's on leave there. He's with the Navy. Said he wanted to hear a little flash dance. When there's nothing but a slow glowing dream. Hope you enjoyed your meal. And I just want to say... Find a square foot exclusively at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. U.S. Home. All right, got a story about a herd of deer. Looks like a family of six on this video up in Canada. <laughs> and, and more and more, uh, you know, the, the family of deer, just they just trapes right down the middle of a residential street. No pass and go, no collecting $200. They don't care about Monopoly. They just want to have a good time in the suburbs. Well, evidently, a surprise driver in Canada was able to get out his little smartphone while his car was stopped over, pulled over to the side, and captured a, f a polite herd, presumably a family, of deer following the rules and obeying the stop signs. <laughs> it's really cute. It's not one of the big deer. It's like a, maybe an adolescent deer. And... Uh, <laughs> He's, a, he's the first one, or she, can't really tell from the video. But anyway, the deer gets to the, just to the tippity tip of the curb of the street and looks, stops and looks both ways. This is a really cool video. If you want to uh, search for it uh, on the web, search for UPI, because that's where we found it. Herd Deer Obey Stop Sign. And you should come right up to it. You know, like you got nothing better to do or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but this thing's worth it. I mean, if you got a little time, what the heck. So, yeah, looks both ways and then leads the rest of the herd safely across the street. Very charming. All right, well, speaking of charming here, we got a lot of stuff. Let's see. Let me get the stack for next hour. Coming up next hour, a dairy company set a world record down in Australia, and they've also found that mushrooms are good for more than, uh, you know, having a little extra sensory <laughs> perception rush, and for cooking, see, it's kind of a thing, all the above. <laughs> I'm dedicating this one to my buddy Jerry down in Hollywood. This is the only disco song he approves of, Patrice Russian. 